Hey, Bo. You're awake. Seven days ago, Bo Cooper, an end-stage leukemia patient, was infused with his own genetically modified immune cells, now called CAR T cells, in the hope that they would find and kill his leukemia. Had it not been for the intervention of his doctor, Terry Fry, that treatment could have killed him. I don't know whether you heard, but we started low dose, lower doses of steroids yesterday, okay? Not because of trying to shut the cells off, but because your body didn't seem to be making enough of its own steroids. Although they saved his life, the steroids Dr. Fry gave Bo may have also halted the CAR T cells that are Bo's last best hope. Bo, you were pretty sick. You still are. I don't think we had a choice but to give at least some steroids. And we just made a plan with the ICU team to try to come down on those steroids over the next couple days, OK? I would describe our patients as heroes, because when they come here, they're scared, and they're fighting through it. Often, people don't know if they're going to make it. Clinical trials, like the one Bo Cooper is enrolled in, are built on decades of research in seemingly unrelated fields. Immunology, toxicology, even genetics all come into play. And often by researchers who are doing pioneering work in rare disease. The NIH is executing that mission of seeing those rare diseases as part of our life, of all of our lives. We use rare disease to help us understand, we hope, in the long run, common disease.